Alright, time to continue on our quest through the Shadows of Am. And this is where we left off last time. We won the rabbit. Alright, so from... Secret entrance in the castle wall hidden behind a bush directly north. Uh, Alright. So we gotta head north. What do we have here? An ice troll. Oh, that's right, that reminds me. She has to be equipped with fire arrows. That's right. I cannot believe I let that slip. And I think a fire spell will also work too. Let's go talk to the moose. And <laughs> nothing to say. But that was pretty good timing. Give me some direction. The moose would be like. Meh. Another ice troll. Okay, I wonder if any of my spellcasters have fire spells. Oh, she has Flame Blade, that's right! I forgot about that. Because that's gonna come in handy. Now that I think about it, I should have had it more than once. Okay, so this is about as north as we're going to get. From what I understand, there's supposed to be a hidden entrance among these bushes. Somewhere. Secret entrance in the castle is well hidden behind a bush directly north of the palisade. Okay, well, you know what? Let's explore the outer perimeters first. So that way I know exactly at least have an idea what I so I get an idea of what I'm up against. I guess that's about as far as we're gonna get. Alright. So we explore the entire northern. Unless the actually went here and then just go here. Ooh, it's getting really foggy.
Okay, so it looks like we're not getting in the front door. So let's explore the southern half of the castle. Talk to these people here. See if they have anything of use. Captain Arat. I'll talk to him. So you be the vagabond. Mistress Melia has brought to aid us. Heh. I suppose we cannot be choosing now. I hope the young lass knows you better than I. I am Captain Arat, garrison commander of Under Lord Denot. Dear niece, until the trolls, trolls drove us out. Say trolls drove five times fast. Those you see here are all that survived. <sighs> Mistress Nelia may be all the family she has left. I tried to find Lord Dearness and his sister, but I could not. Nelia may be the last. Has Mistress Nelia not told you? We were best beset by trolls in Yuan T two day two ten days ago. Had tunneling beasts with them, so we were attacked from above and below. Twas little that could be done, truly enough. We fought room to room, barricading ourselves in we we need be to the last man we fought, practically. Once Lord Dernice disappeared, it was hopeless. I tried to find him, but there was not to be done. Leading what few soldiers remained out was battle enough. The trolls and those Yanti have shut the keep up tight. I'm hoping they will merely demand ransom for our lord, but my hope has been quickly dwindling. If we can do as Mistress Nelia asks and rid the castle of the vermin, we might be we'd be mighty grateful, as would Lord Dernice if he still lives within. And then I told you the secret entrance, has she not? It sits to the north of the palace out here, hidden in the wall to the keep behind some bushes. Lord Dearness knows of it. I have been watching to see if he escapes and uses it to flee, but I have not enough men here to attempt any kind of rescue. If you enter the castle, there is one way that my men and I can assist you. If you lower the drawbridge from inside, we can draw out the enemy and engage them. If you begin to keep the more trolls in Yon T, you'll find. Open the bridge and we will engage them. It may be your only chance. That will give you the time to reach for Lord Dearness and Lady Delica. I suggest you get to the courtyard and open the drawbridge as soon as possible. It's an offer, anyway. I dislike the idea of sitting out here while someone else goes within and takes all the risks, but you are free to do as you wish. That's an excellent idea. Thank you, Captain Arrett. You have served my father well. We should open the bridge quickly, and then we've entered. Just be sure you have acid or fire disposal. Trolls will not fall to anything else. May the gods go with you. Take these arrows. They might help. Let's get the other. Oh, here we go. All right. All right, this helps tremendously. Let me just go check and see what the rest of the place looks like. The fort, side entrance. And like I said before, I already know how to kill trolls, so.
I carry too much as it is. Your item's on the ground. Who can identify things? No, please don't punish me anymore. Yes. Well, so much for that. How can I help? How about a fire arrow? You don't mind? Perfect. Servant. Oh, dude. I shall follow your strength. throwing items here. How can we care so much for people? It has to start somewhere. What, what has to start? Love, justice, the rights of people to choose their own destiny in this world. But don't the gods choose our destinies? Oh, Ari, with the exception of Gon, our gods are not clockmakers. They have made us living, breathing creatures with minds, emotions, desires. Only birth and death are destiny. All else is choice and consequence. Come, the sun is setting, and it casts long shadows on our thoughts. Well, that was an interesting conversation. here and reevaluate our uh I don't think any of my characters are wizards. Oh, she is, or mages rather.
give him a little fire arrow. Done. All right. Good progress here. Oh, there's the courtyard. Good. That's what I want. Okay, so we gotta find the controls for the drawbridge. Oh wait, hang on. I have some antidote potions. I should get rid of the poison. Why am I? Well, it's because I'm diseased. I don't have anything that'll cure. Do I? Oh, because I have an antidote. So I wonder if any of my characters have a. Your disease. Oh, she does. Finish him off with a fire era. Nice. Your awesomeness. Alright. Now let's go find that mechanism and get the drawbridge down. Now to the basement, start clearing out more trolls.
gather. So I guess you really didn't do much, is what you're saying. Well, that's priceless. As you desire. It's done. Help me, please. the drill. I have to take out some fire arrows and uh, go to work. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to be very stingy with my fire arrows because I don't want to waste them. That poor, those poor servants. Jeez, I feel bad for not rescuing them. Did you? I suppose you must have. Nothing but trolls and snakes the front way. What are you doing here then? You? Rescue me? I ain't nobody. Even the trolls know that. So they left me to lend the, anim to the animals because I ain't no threat. Did Miss Nalia send you? If you are here at her request, then you might at least mean well. Though we shall see if you actually accomplish anything. Miss Nalia is caring noble, but she is still a noble by any measure. No offense meant, but you are here to really help. Or are you here to say how much someone should help? Miss Dahlia is a bit more talk than action sometimes. Maybe 30? There was a big troll that seemed to be in charge. I kept out of sight, but I also heard him boss something called the Yuan Ti. I don't know how many of those there are. I don't know. I've seen a few make a break for it, but they were killed as they can as they ran. Maybe a few are hidden here or there? Oh no, Lord Dearness is still alive. At least he was this morning. He was trying to get the parts for his flail. He kept it in pieces and would never say why he left it like that. It wasn't my place to ask, really. Probably, look, probably took him down to the dungeon. Lord Dearness had his dungeon boarded up, but I think them trolls sniffed it out. Don't know why they didn't kill just everyone. I'll just be sitting right here. Thanks all the same. They ain't bothered me to come get me yet. And if you go out there making trouble, I think this is the safest place for me. If you do see Miss Dahlia, let her tag along. 
She's right there, dude. She knows this place better than anyone, or at least thinks she does. One's as good as the other sometimes, and it's better than going blind. Oh, there was something else as well. I don't know if it will help, but I best tell you anyway. The big troll, he's got a whole pack of nasty looking monsters that dig like mad. I had to feed them, and nothing gets between them and their food. Abandoned their post for the dog stew I made. Had to kill four dogs per meal. Disgusting! Very. They got in the main room of the dungeon, but they feed in one of the cells. To the south, down the hall, in the back of the room where they first broke in. Just wanted to warn you about them. They almost killed me, and all I was doing was dropping their food in the cell. Nothing keeps them from their food. Thank you, Delson. Now get out of here. I don't want you getting hurt. Yes, Miss Nadia, before I go, remember to use fire against trolls when they fall down, otherwise they'll get up again. Haven't we already established that? I mean, how many times are we going to be repeated the same thing again and again and again? I mean, we're not idiots, you know. Huh, what's this? Right behind me, right? Ah. Ah. Yeah. I'll take these for sure. Give them to the fire arrow lady. Guess you can never have too many fire arrows. I think everybody else is just gonna leave. And possibly some acid arrows too. And I guess he'll be the backup, I suppose. Alright, let's go. I'll see you to it. Burn the trolls. Nice. useless too because I got a better one.
All right. What the world is this? What do we have here? Alright, so let's go to the secret entrance here. Secret passages, and you realize. It is done. Okay, so we got the head of a flail. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like we got a quest item here. Assemble the flail. Ring of earth control. Charm earth elemental once per day. Interesting. Okay, so who's got the worst armor? Well, so far she... Surprisingly, she has the best armor. Compared to me. That's... Really, that's that's quite a stretch there in my imagination. My impression. But I'm gonna give it to her because her arm, regular armor is not as, uh, not as protective as his. I always keep forgetting to upgrade, but I don't know if I can. Oh well, I guess just cannot be choosers. The stairs, stairs, the towers collapse. You will have to find another way up. Okay, so I wonder if it's just blocked off. Let's get to the second floor. So I don't think we need to go to the courtyard anymore. We're done. Oh, wait a minute. I think I forgot something in here. Did I? So it is empty. Never mind. Off to the second floor. I'll see to it. Have to find my aunt's bedroom. There's a secret passage within that leads to the cellar entrance. Down there's where the leader probably is. Alright, so let's have a look around.
I serve Shar above all others, but I shall wait for you for now. So that's going to be our sole exception. Let's talk to him and see what he has to say. Intruders, Torgal shall be pleased with the gift of your corpse. I do regret that I shall have to dirty my hands in obtaining it. Any of those. I'm not accustomed to such loads. I've had to drop something. Uh huh. Right. Okay, if you want to use some fire arrows, dude. this. Wand of fire. Hmm. That's very strange. That's very, very strange. Why in the world with this sort of item comes so late in the game. Or at least this part. Hmm. Huh. Oh well.
my characters are strong enough to use bolts, so... How did you, Mistress Nadia? Is it, is it really you? Hendren, you're alive. What are you doing here? I barricaded us in here to protect your aunt, my lady. I have fought few trolls. I think they are not interested in either of us. What are they doing? I cannot say. We're here to deal with the invaders, Hendren, and save whoever remains. I am glad Auntie is still safe. Will you go to the palace uh, with her, Hendren? I will go there. I will go where your aunt goes. I have sworn to protect her, and I have maintained my oath thus far. It is, it is just. Auntie's a real pain, huh? Well, yes. Don't worry, I'll talk to her. Tis like a nightmare. Yet more hooligans tracking the filth through the halls. We shall have to vacation for a ten day while the whole building is deloused. I'll tell you the same as your leader. You'll get no more from me than condemnation. Marching into a hem as though you belong. What is the world coming to? Kind of reflects on real world issues, but anyways. Auntie, please. We have come to rescue you. Nalia? Oh my dear. What have you brought home with you this time? I have told you about consorting with such creatures. You will only end up like your mother. Yes, yes, yes. You have told me a hundred times or more about my mother's death. I'll thank you kindly not to do so again. It bears repeating, my dear. She would slum as you do, offering charity to those beneath her, and her reward was a pestilence that took her life. Do try to keep the dignity of your station above such things, will you? Ah, uh, my words are for naught. Or would you not come, would you not be here at all? What drinks have you brought to our home this time? Auntie, treat them with respect. Would you rather die than accept help from commoners? We could learn compassion from these people. My dear Nadia, I wouldn't turn down the chance to live another day, but living another day as one of them, you saw yourself with your lessers. Oh no, please don't get her going. Of course you measure that way. You have no choice. Realize, however, that your scale is within the larger truth. Some are born to rule, others to follow. I merely wish that these people respect the borders that fate has placed with them within. I mean no disrespect other than that which you already do. Yes, we should. Really get moving. You will be safe back the way we came, Auntie. But I cannot go with you yet. As you wish, do try to stay clean, Nadia, and try not to get killed. I shall wait where it is safe, and we shall talk again. For now, go with your friends. Oh, and please make sure to practice social distancing and wear a mask, and please cover your hands when you cough. Something tells me here this lady delegate is a real germaphobe. And if you would, Lord Dionys is still at the mercy of the beast below. He is Nala's father, and I believe they are going trying to get him to reveal something about a cache of gold. I doubt he will say a word. He is as soft as Nadia at times, but he does not lower himself to dealing with the lasses. Do rescue him, will you? It is your duty, I believe. I think a month of tortures amongst the spiders of love will remove her sense of superiority. The El Caress should know when she meets her betters, blood or no blood. I wonder what such a woman would do if forced to live in poverty for once. Be the most noble woman of the goddess, I suppose. Some dirt would, would look on, on her guilt, however. Wow. Rather an amusing bit of restraint on your part, and I appreciate that. She's decent enough, but very set in her ways and hard to deal with. Come, we must rescue my father. Is she really just gonna stand there?
think it was like that. The guys were well paid. It is more likely they are dead. But Glacius would have given his life out of friendship for my father. It's done. Ouch. Oh, she does. I guess I could use one myself. There we go. Sorcerer, show me the way. I shall destroy you. Glacius, is that you? Oh no. He must be charmed. He would never do this. Okay, which of my characters has charm? Oh, she does. Hold on. I remember now. It was it was horrible. Oh, thank you so much for freeing me from that enchantment. You you must find the leader of the trolls, Torgal, I believe his name is. You must find him and kill him. If he falls, the rest of his minions will flee. I am afraid that I do not know where he is though, or where Lord Dearness is exactly. I wish I did. But I think I do know something that might help you. Lord Dearness was looking for a fellow that belongs to him. It was disassembled long ago and the head spread throughout the keep. I was helping him search when we were captured. He said it has powers of flames and acid and the like. Things that we have aided us greatly against the trolls if we found them in time. I have the first of the heads with me. Still, you may have it. I found one myself. To find the other two heads, you could assemble the weapon. Lord Dearness and I were heading to the Hidden Forge. He said it was behind a super door in the armory on the Keep's first floor. That might be a good place to look. I cannot thank you enough for releasing me. I, I would help you more, but I simply cannot face him again. I, I wish you well. Okay, so we got two heads already here. What's this? That's a wand. Okay, so she's got one of the heads cold. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what these keys are for. It's done. So the three heads are cold, acid, and flame. Yeah, so she's got the head of well, acid. Alright, one more head remains.
Okay, I already found the first floor. Or the first head. By pure accident, actually. Now I just gotta find the third. I already found two. Let's go upstairs to the roof. say, huh? So there's the... Okay, so there's the third head. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we're not... I am not going through this. Uh-oh. So, yeah, like I said before, I'm only doing this... Just for the sake of saying, hey, you know what? Just for time purposes, that's why, because I don't want to go through this again. that she has spells. Just until this is done here. Alright, we can go back to <coughs> normal. Okay, so we got the three flail heads, so what now? I wonder if he has anything to say. No, he doesn't. That's kind of cute. All right, I think we. All right, we can go ahead and get rid of this now. We don't need this anymore. All right. All right. No, I can't carry anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. I dropped something. Uh huh. Right. Hey, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's that's more like it. No, I can't carry anymore. Oh, sorry, I dropped something. That's more like it. Okay, so where does this take? Basement. Okay, so it's let's see if there's anything of use here. Drop the crossbow here, not like you're gonna use it. And the arrows are about a dime a dozen, so. Oh no, wait a second. Okay, I think for this. 
guys stay guys stay in here. And since she has a ton of fire arrows, now would be a good time to start using them. Normal troll, I'm not so concerned about. Who's got it? No, I can't carry anymore. Oh, sorry, I dropped something. That was a close one. Okay, since I have all three flail heads, I wonder where I can assemble this item. I will carry no more. You may scrounge for what I have dropped upon the ground. Not a concern. Backtrack. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh -uh. Not this time again. You ain't killing my friend. No, sir. Endeavor. And like I said before, I'm only doing this just for time purposes. She'll come around at some point. Somebody leveled up. Oh, she did. Wait. She did. Alright. So she gained two more hit points, which isn't really saying much. And she got in one more level five spell. I think it's been from here.
destiny awaits. has got to be here somewhere. There's Torgal. Big Gersons, me smell you. You still big to come here. Torgal, kill you all. Make you food for Rock Smash Pack. We tried. It's not for lack of effort. Who's got her potions? She does. I'm. I carry too much as Your items on Here, you happy now? Okay, now is a good time for those fire arrows. Just keep them busy for as long as I can. Oh, 
for God's sakes. Alright, so he's in the basement, but you know what? I still want to know where, uh... We're gonna assemble the flail. It's under the roof. Or I'd probably be in the basement. So, I guess I don't see the forge, so I guess we're going to have no choice but to go down to the basement. <laughs> yeah, that's right, she was also close to leveling up. That's right. I've seen that, like I, I should have seen that coming.
something. You know, I'm gonna have her drop the quarter staff. She doesn't really need it now that she's got a mace. Before, where I'm not, I'm not going through this again. somewhere.
Hmm. What is it? So like I said before, I gotta find out exactly where to forge this crazy thing. Oh yeah. I got to do this. Interesting. Where would I go to take the flail, though? There's no other rooms in the basement. Hmm. But one thing I find even stranger is... Why would you give me a... Maybe this might have something to do with it. this? What is this? Could this be it? And I did exactly that. I got the heads right here. Seems like I'm the only one who can use it, so. Let me take a look at this. Okay, so the stats are slightly worse, but if it means killing off the rest of these uh, trolls, then so be it. I have a good feeling we're gonna come across other enemies too that uh that are weak to fire cold and acid. But we'll see. You must gather your party before venturing forth. And goody, another cutscene. Stand. You rest each night uneasy. Yes, you are weary. You struggle daily. It will not end, you know, until you acknowledge what you are. You walk as a mortal, taking no advantage from your heritage, from your talents within. So many things of flesh are greater than you. Walk among these beasts that are less than you are. See their strength, see how easily you forge their muscle and skill. 
Why do you submit to the flesh when death is bred in your bones? Do you realize the power you might hold? When the world of flesh is beneath you, even creatures mysterious and magical will fall. Something tells me I've got a good feeling I'm gonna have to uh, <sighs> do this again for time, for time's sake.
fuck out, kill you all. Make you food for Rock Smash Pack. We've come to get you out. Talk out. You what? Father? No. Talk out, not talk. Rock Smash, not talk. You not we talk. Need we food. fight. Then Rock Smash eat burgers. No talk. Let's do oh. this quick and pain. Oh. It seems somewhat strange that I power that I assemble this powerful weapon and yet it's not really doing anything. So go figure. This might help. Sakes, really? Oh Christ. Jesus Christ. Alright. My patience has worn thin enough. Because apparently this weapon I have is not as useful as I thought. Now we play by my rules. Once again.
Ugh, thank god that's done. Get. Die, you beast! I will clear this place of any taint you left behind! I will. I will. Let's get out of here. I don't want to see my home in this state. We have done what we can. I must... I will speak more when we have left this place. I carry too much as it is. Your item's on the ground. No, I can't carry anymore. I, oh, I'm sorry, I dropped something. I am ready, I think. Time to get out of here. Ugh, I had just about enough. What is left? Someone has done this, but who? I am thankful. I give you warning. Now that father's gone, I have to. Oh no. Uh, can I persuade you to? Uh, no, forget it. It's it's a matter of what happens now. I am. Trot to a man I do not wish to marry. Father said he would stall as long as I wished him to, but now he is gone. No, that would solve nothing. I would have to face him eventually, and I would not do for me to be seen avoid traditional duties. No, what I propose is something different. I doubt it will fool many people regardless, but it would save my home from what is sure to be ill use. Here is the problem as I see it. My father... I had regular dealings with Ronalds, though at times I'm sure he viewed them with such a distaste as I do. They epitomize what I hate about nobles. Everything is beneath their status, and if you wish any respect, you must be of their social number. All others are treated as dirt. My father had dealings with them, but he was not like them. They tolerated him because of his wealth and willingness to conform. My father was born with a title, but he demanded that people distinguish themselves through deeds. He obeyed etiquette, but he did not hide his distaste for it. My father earned his while others squandered. The Ronalds sought to increase their links to him through marriage. They are powerful, and he reluctantly agreed. I was betrothed to Isela Ronal, a brat of a man. Now they will surely push the agreement, and I will be forced into a life of quiet nobility. I propose a partnership, in secret, of course, wherein you assume title to this place. You will become the figurehead of the keep, and I will be ward of sorts. It is my right as heir to those who lead this place. I couldn't stand before the Ronalds effectively. You, with your talents, will prove a daunting figure. Not by your strength of character. It's not uncommon to take over a keep once the Lord is, is dead. The heirs must merely declare it so. 
You will do ceremonial things, but nothing overly stressful. Please, the Ronalds would not use this place in a way that would honor my father. Wonderful. They can't force me now, and I say I can forget the blasted betrothal. You are now master within reason. I remain blood heir and can take it away. We can leave, though you are welcome to inspect or organize as you see fit. The servants will return to place this order. Again, I thank you. Greetings to you, Your Grace. I uh, understand from Mistress Analia that you are to be the new proprietor of the keep and surrounding farmlands. Yes. Very well, then. I am the major domo of the castle, or at least I served as such under Lord Dirnes. I am certainly willing to serve you in the same capacity. I can vouch for him. He served my family for a long time, and, well, there's nobody else, really, who can do his job around here anyway. As the lady says, I suppose, I run day-to-day -day operations in the keep, handling servants and any minor problems that occur with the farmers or others on your land. I also ensure that taxes are collected and kept in the coffers here. If you wish to change taxes from how they were under Lord Darnis, just tell me. A large amount of the coin will go into rebuilding the keep's depleted force of men-at-arms and into maintaining the keep and its staff. But I estimate that you will... Yeah, you will still gather, say, 500 gold pieces per week. If you wish to access that, you will have but to come to me. As for the major decisions, well, I suggest you return at least every couple of weeks. If there is anything critical, a runner will find you if they can. There is nothing that requires my immediate attention. The servants will be cleaning up, and I am sure funeral arrangements has yet to be made for Lord Dearnese. Have you any questions for me, then? Well, I am sure you have seen the keep itself. You also lord over a large area of surrounding land. There are no settlements, per se, but there is rich farmland. Lord Dearnese always got into, well, his people, as did most of his forebears. It is peaceful here, usually. You should have a little problem, I would think. Yes, my lord, all yours, as Mistress Nelly had stated. A few servants remain, and some new ones have been hired. You are free to explore as you will. Hmm, the trolls took a lot from the keep, as far as I can tell. Unless you found some of these things while you were, uh, recovering the keep, there is nothing. But if you wait a week or so, the crops and the farmers will start making profit. As I said, 500 gold is the average that Lord Dearney's gathered through taxes. As you say, Lord, I am sure you can find your bedroom if you wish to stay the night, and arrangements can be made for your friends. And, and Lady Delica, uh... I most certainly will not stay here. You cannot expect me to spend another minute in this place with these, these ruffians. Auntie! He saved our keep from being overrun by trolls, and he is helping keep our home from being taken over by the Ronals. That may be so, dear niece, but that does not mean any he possesses any noble blood to rule this land. I would sooner see an acceptably noble Ronal rule here than this, this impostor. Do not think you are truly rule here. Proper noble's hands will return. I consider my home to be no better off than it was occupied by the trolls. I'm sorry. It's... It's my right to do as I wish with the land, and I trust you. She'll get over it. If you need anything else of me, then, my lord, do not hesitate. I can usually be found here in the audience chamber. I suppose my first order of business is to kick Auntie out of here. Have I told you of how I was captured and enslaved initially? It was my fault, really. I was away from Vanna Dali, flying just for the glory of it. I... Spotted a large group of armed men assaulting some humans on the ground below. They were slavers, although I didn't know at the time. When I saw a human child crying and desperately trying to run away from them, my heart clenched with concern. I was distraught. My mother had always warned me to be wary of outsiders, but I did not heed her warnings this time. I flew down to aid the child, swooping to carry him away. The child was surprised and frightened, and his struggles slowed me, enough so that a slaver struck me with an arrow. I plummeted to the ground and was knocked unconscious. When I awoke, I was in my cage. I was the prize of the slavers, to be sold to the highest bidder. They were pleased to sell me to the circus for a great amount of gold. I... I suppose... I suppose I was glad to learn that the child escaped after all. He ran away after my fall. Hopefully he survived. It is, though... It, would, it was foolish of me to disregard my teachings, and I paid for it dearly. I was barefoot of my home and my wings. I I am glad that Quail yet lives, and and I have found you. Perhaps the gods have begun to forgive my foolish pride. So, what draws you to this part of the Oh, at Katla. I seem to recall you mentioning something about a mission. The 
this perception of sibling relationship is peculiar to the surface, and the Underdark brotherly love can take a far more sinister tenor. It's ordained by custom that thinning the familial herd should be exercised. Killing or maiming your siblings is as commonplace as bearing children. Simply, love is a cruel mistress. That's true! And family, sadly, an afterthought. I envy your, your bond. It's truly inspiring. Oh, what do we have here? Oma the cook. Let's see what she has to say. Oh, be oh my, you cook. Supper, supper not be ready yet, my lord. I have a card for you, yes? So where was the bedroom? If it must be done. Say. I wonder. I wonder about those golems. That, uh... Then we're in this room over here. Hmm. Hello, my lord. Tell your tell your I be one of your new maids. I hope that there is to be no more trouble like them trolls. I have more than enough excitement working for my last lord, a tyrant of a man. You just carry on. Give me sense, probably. Just yes, carry on. bedroom so I can get some rest and recover my hit points. This would be a good time to rest. That's one thing I never understood about the rats is uh why are they here? What purpose do they serve? Anyways, well, our job is done here, so let's move on to bigger and better things. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Out of concern. You must gather your party before venturing forth. I trust you have no hostile intentions. A shame, Captain. All right, retire, my lord. He fell here. Failed Lord Dearney somehow. I am Cernic, and I've taken his place as the captain of the guard. Yeah, that's nice. Hmm. You know, I never got a chance to explore the rest of this place. I think I'm gonna do exactly just that. I'm gonna have a look around. See what I missed. See if anything's worth visiting. If I can go there, that is. Which I don't think I can. There's another set of stairs that go to the roof. I'm gonna go take a look at the basement. All is said and done. You must gather your party before venturing forth.
Huh, interesting. Oh yeah, there was that tower too that uh collapsed. So it looks like the golems have left. Huh. Interesting, to say the least. You must gather your party before venturing forth. I am willing. Is. Oh, just more storage. It must be done. You must gather your party before. It's probably best left to me. Greetings to you, my lord. I am Matigo, the new butler that has been hired. I look forward to a long and fruitful service for you, and I trust you will be satisfied with my efforts.
party before venturing forth. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Alright, so we are done here. I think it's time for us to make our departure. Back to the town. I've got unfinished business there. Before I do anything else, though. And I think we can make ourselves a little bit of money here, too, since I got plenty of items here to sell. Okay, I have enough of the fee, but, uh... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just want something else. Windspear Hills. Alright, that's our next stop. Over there. Beast, curse, your terror ends here. No more words! Your lies will taint this land no longer. Your crimes will trouble the people not a second more. Wait, what? Yeah, that takes care of that. Okay, so it looks like there's more to this store than meets the eye. Well, despite the fact that uh, I've been tricked into doing one quest, it looks like I'm doing another. Hmm, but I want to look into this a little further here. So, anyways, I think this is a good place to save for right now. Actually, this is a good place to stop for right now. Um, thank you to those who watched. I will see everyone next time.